Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to another Let's Build video. Now this week I'm going to take a look at a request from the forum. So uh, Tom has asked us if we can offer some advice on how to build uh, or rebuild the MacMost website. Um, and I think he's most interested in kind of mimicking this uh, layout. So the way these columns shift and when we go to a single column, uh, you can see this, this sidebar gets pushed underneath. So we're gonna have a go at recreating this. Now, um, this is a good site to try and rebuild because it handles multiple columns and shifting things and um, yeah, it's it's quite uh, good for the basics. Now I'm gonna have a go at rebuilding this. I haven't tried yet or done anything. I've got a rough idea of how it might work in my head, which is exactly what Tom is asking. So um, let's dive into Elements and we'll see how we get on. So I've got Elements and let's do a new project. Now what I do know is the website's quite wide. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna enable the next screen size up just to give us a bit more space to play with because I know this site here is, is fairly wide. Let's move that up there. Um, now, I'm thinking we're gonna need uh, two columns here. So this is gonna be a grid and then we're gonna need an inner grid for this as well. So let's get started. Uh, I am going to add uh, classically as I always do. I'm gonna add a container first and let's add some spacing to this, padding top and bottom, just to bring it away from the top edge. This helps uh, with the design and just so I can see what I'm doing. And now let's drop in this grid. And what I might do, I might just rough this out. So I'm gonna drop a container into the grid and let's give a bit of uh, padding on this grid. I'm gonna give it a whole ton, just so I can see it. And this is gonna be our sidebar. And let's give this a, um, have we got a gray color? Yeah, we've got gray. Let's give it a gray background. Uh, Cause this is gonna be our sidebar here. Now let's drop in another container um, at the beginning. And let me just check, uh, because this will be the contents for this but I just wanna check. So we've got four columns here. And what I'm wondering, this container, uh, let's select this one for the main area and I'm gonna override it. I'm gonna to go to grid items and then I can set the amount of columns it's gonna take up. So um, yeah, this is looking pretty good. So this main section takes up uh, three columns and this sidebar just takes up one column and uh, let me go to the grid. We want some spacing in here. So I'm gonna add some horizontal spacing. Mm, well, let's go 10. Um, let me just change the color of the background. Yeah, okay. Just so we can see a bit more what we're doing. Um, all right, so this is looking pretty good for this outside layout. We're looking pretty good here. But on this inner layout, we're gonna want these two columns. So again, let's drop a grid in here. But for this grid, I think we just want two columns. Boom. And um, let's design one of these cards maybe. So we're gonna drop in this container. We're gonna set the background to white and we are going to let's change the sizing um well let's put some content in here actually so probably uh, we could do a flex here i think let's drop a flex in um, and then we'll drop an image in what i'm what i'm also going to do let's get the node browser out here so we can see what's going on um, so I've got my flex and we're gonna need some text in that flex as well. So let's drop this in. Now the flex, oops, let's drop it in there. Oh, there. Now the flex is flexing the wrong way. So we wanna go, instead of columns, we want rows. Boom. So this is looking better. Um, let's get some of this text here. Let's paste that in there. 
and let's set a size on this image. Now we want this image and I wonder if we'll be able to just drop that in there. No, that's not going to work. Oh, because it's getting a HTML. We don't want that. I'll just drop, drop this on the desktop. Oh, now that's not going to work in the finder either. Let's drop that again. There we are. Uh, let's drop it in resources. Right, so now we've got an image to work with. We'll pop that in there. And let's set the sizing on this. Um, let's see, three, no, bigger than that. Yeah, that's looking not too bad. And we'll do that. We want some padding. Oh, let's have a look here. We are pushing out into, oh, that's too big. Um, oh, that is because, let's set this container. That's why we're pushing out into two grids. I'm gonna set this container to one, one column. Okay, that grid set to two. Let me just, uh, just going to duplicate that. Okay, let's have a look here. We're not. Um, this should only be filling. one column maybe oh maybe because we're just styling that too big that's the issue there i will we'll come back to that i'll restart that in a minute okay um so on this container we want some padding now i did say we're doing this uh ad hoc and i haven't built this so uh, you'll have to bear with me as we fumble around and try and get this looking good. But this is kind of how design works, especially um, we're, we're rapidly trying to build this complex layout. So we're bound to hit some issues. Um, on the flex, there's a little bit of a gap there as well. So let's just set that. Yeah, a little bit of a gap, good. Uh, we're definitely gonna need to make this bigger. Definitely. But uh, let me just duplicate this. Okay, now this is working better. Uh, this grid also needs some space as well. So we're gonna set it five, five. Good, um, rounded corners. Let's put some borders and rounded corners on this thing. That's one thing we, we need to implement the link to link all those together. It's on the list, it's been on the list for ages. We'll get around to it. Um, I'm going to set these to default because then it will change with the theme. Um, okay, that's good. And we probably want a little drop shadow on there. Um, we'll set that to small. Oh, wrong container. We don't want it on there. Uh, we want it on here. So a little set that to small okay that's looking pretty good we'll get rid of that let's duplicate this again um, so uh, let's take the spacing the sizing no uh, oh, I think it's because we set we set the sizing on there didn't we so let's remove this now because I don't need that Boom, and what we want to do, we want a big card at the top. So uh, let's, um, would you play another one of those? And on this card, I want to tell it to be, take two uh, columns of our inner grid. So now we're really starting to, um, things are starting to take shape. In the sidebar, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a flex in there. Um, I put a flex in there and on the layout here, this is centered, but the content layout, we want it at the top there. So things to fill down. So that's, we're gonna put some text in here. 
Um, there we are. And let's put some padding on this just to bring things away from the edge. And we'll also put some default borders on this. Okay, we're looking pretty good now. We're starting to really get the um, layout for this thing. Uh, we obviously had the slight issue with our images there, which messed things up um, because we're trying to set a percent on them. 300 PX. Uh, okay, after having a little play around with that, I've actually gone with a, um, a grid in here. We could have used flex and there are some custom classes we can put in here, but I didn't really want to get into that. So uh, gone with a grid. Um, so let's update this top one to be, um, well, we could leave this one as flex, I think for now. Um, but yeah, so here we have a grid and then I've got an image and text in it. And on the grid, let's get a bit of um, spacing there. Yeah. Okay, bit of spacing. Um, on the image, we're going to set the borders as well. Uh, there we are, default. Yeah, so it's got that curve, which they've added on these as well. Um, and then, yeah, this could be some a title here. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, and let's uh, duplicate this. So we can just duplicate these all day long and that's uh, that's good. Now, um, what we want to get on to is, let's see, yeah. So we want this column to jump down to the bottom there. So we've got our main, um, we'll call that main and this one sidebar. So on the grid, let's go down to about that size. And on here, we want the grid to go to zero, uh, one column. So you can see our sidebar jumps underneath. Now, um, when we come up to, well, let's see, probably well, I think maybe at this size, that's when we want it to jump back up to uh, four. So yes, yeah, so you can see now we've got that same layout and when we get too small, it's gonna jump down there. So that's good. Uh, we wanna set the gap to 10 as well. Um, because then that gives us some space here. Or we could set that to five, make it match up. Um, and you'll notice this sidebar isn't reaching fully across there. And that's probably because the um, we'll need to set how many columns it takes up. I think, let's have a look. Grid one. Um, uh, the main, yes, okay, okay. Uh, that's set to three, that's why. So we want this to set to one and this to set to one. So we're working a little bit backwards here, right? So we're getting our mobile layout correct. And then when I come up to this size, we want our grid to change to four columns, correct? And we want this to change to three, there we go. So now that's working good. Yeah, so this is looking pretty good now. Let's just add a little bit of padding to here so it doesn't get squished either side. And we'll just add five. So now when I come in, boom, you can see that jumps underneath and that looks pretty good. Now the other thing um, I think Tom wanted to do at tablet size, I only want one column of cards, um, which is fine. So 
when we come down to this size, we want to change this grid into one column. Um, and we can do that. Let's, uh, let's set it to one. And now uh, when we get to here, let's override this uh, or when we get to here, sorry, let's override this and set them back to two. So now that's gone into one list. Um, and we just need to fix our top container because that will be set to two and we need to set that to one. Uh, that's why we're getting this funky layout here. So when we come down to this size, uh, that wants to be, well, that, well, let's set it to one because we're working mobile upwards. We'll set that to one. And then uh, when we get up to the next part here, we need to set the breakpoint and set that to two. Um, sorry if this is not, uh, has not been the best tutorial is because I'm working on the fly and I'm kind of working out as I go and um, and that's just part of designing or building something you know you need to try things see how it works and kind of build as you go but you can see we are uh, we're getting here now um, so this is giving us nice one column uh, we, this is designed differently because this is using a flex, but we could switch this to a grid. Let's just fix this uh, top card, in fact. Um, yeah, and then let's just copy this grid into there. And on this grid, we could have this support more columns. Three is pretty good. Uh, and then we would just need to fix this on the responsive design. So... Um, on this one, we could just set it to two. And then when it comes up to here, let's just set that to three. So that's pretty good. Um, we've now mimicked this layout. We've got these, uh, let's view this in the browser. So we've mimicked this layout. And when I make this smaller, we go down to one column and this is underneath as it should be. I think this is what you wanted. I'm unsure about highlighting this top item. Not sure what you wanted there. If you let me know, we could look at that um, and see what we could do. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. I'll upload this project and you can have a play around with it. Um, and ask any questions and, and we can go through it. Hopefully that has answered your question on how to build this layout. I hope that's useful. Um, I found it very much, I was kind of working it out as I went along. So I don't know if this is helpful. All right, so that was the MacMost rebuild. Um, we hit a few road bumps in the way, but anything is possible to build in Elements. You just have to know how to build it. And that was really, an ad hoc build that I had not looked at and, and not kind of researched on the best way to build it. We kind of just tried to build it. And I think we got there in the end. And it's a, it's useful to know how these, um, how you can change columns and grids at, at different break points. So it's a good exercise and it was fun to, to build this um, and see how it would work. And maybe I'll do things slightly differently next time. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there we go. Hope you found this useful and I will be back in the next video. All right. Cheers. Bye.